We saw the ATI Stratton Pro at Arifa Plus Orlando. Now they have the Stratton Flex, which looks like a strip light. But Am I it's wrong? No, far from a strip light. This is a full lighting solution. Tell me why I, it's not just a strip light. So for those of you guys who know, we have the Stratton Pro. So mm -hmm. it's the same LED configuration as you see in the Stratton Pro. Okay. You just spread it out over a longer linear light form. Okay. So you get the same exact performance you would get on the Stratton Pro, which is a full lighting solution. And again, the Stratton Flex, same thing. It's going to be a full tank lighting solution. It is only six inches wide. Obviously, it's really thin. Okay. People immediately think strip light. This is not good enough to you know cover my whole entire tank. That is absolutely not true. It's yeah. absolutely good for tanks up to 24 inches wide and 30 inches deep. And we're talking about not just LPS and soft cores, full on SPS coral tank. At the bottom of a tank, 24 inches deep, you're still going to get two, three, even 350 par out of a light fixture that's using 160 watts. Just this. Nothing. Just this. 24 inch deep tank, Correct. this light, full blast, two to 300 par in the sand bed. Correct, absolutely. Yeah, if you'd use this as a strip light, you're gonna fry everything in your tank. Exactly, exactly. Right. Okay, so we take the Stratton Pro, we basically broke it out, like you said, spread it out. Exactly. So yeah. this could be your primary lighting to get that spread out light over a longer distance. Yeah, absolutely. So it's it's obviously spread it out. It makes it a little bit more affordable, a little bit more uh, accessible for people out there. Okay. Because now you're talking about a light fixture for a three and four foot tank that's a little over 1200 bucks retail. Um, obviously, Stratton Pro is a little bit higher price point. You're looking, you know, two fixtures over the same four-foot tank. You're looking at closer to two thousand bucks. So again, okay. brings that price point down, makes it a lot more affordable for people. So what's the price on the thirty-nine? Uh, Twelve hundred thirty-two and ninety-five cents is the retail price point. Okay, so if I have a four-foot tank, I may need two of other lighting solutions, I can use one of these Absolutely, and right. get the job done. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. that's a yes. lot more cost effective Absolutely. when you look at it. Yep. Okay, so it's LED, I got full control. Full app-based control, same kind of control or same exact control you're getting with the Satin Pro. So it's the ATI uh, Technic app. You get the full ability to program those lights. You can have full control of both intensity and color control. Okay. Obviously, when the lights come on and off, you have that control as well. So you can set and control those lights exactly how you want to. And is that through Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, both? How does that work? It's a, a Wi-Fi based app. I love that we can customize our lighting with LEDs to get any look that we want. Absolutely. Are yeah. there presets built in and can I create my own presets? Absolutely. So there are, I think, up to like about 10 different presets that are already in the fixture. Preloaded. Preloaded in the fixture. You just select the color that you like. Obviously, some are a little bit bluer spectrum. It's a little bit, a little bit more crisp white spectrum. You can set any one that you want. You can mix and match throughout the day. Obviously, you can start with a bluer spectrum in the morning. Okay. You can ramp it up to a crisper spectrum throughout the middle of the day. And then, ultimately, people like to have their own control so they can create their own presets as well. So you can go in there and change, create your own coral mix, or sorry, color mix, excuse me. And you can create as many of those color mixes as you want, right? So you can have Mark's special color mix. You can have Greg's special color mix. You can mix and match those throughout the day okay. and have those come on and out whenever you want them. So whatever color you want to do with it, you can you can make that happen. 39 inch length. This is a larger 52 ish length. A uh, little bit off. So 37 on this one. Okay. So great for three foot tanks and four foot tanks. And obviously, you know, it's 37 inches. So people are thinking, oh, is it going to work for my four foot tank? But it will. And you're only talking about, you know, four or five inches off each end. Yeah. The light spreads out, not a problem at all. This one is actually 56 inches. Easily works on both a 60 inch and a 72 inch tank. So both a five and a six foot tank would work for that. What about spread in terms of width of the tank? Uh, so again, easily 24 inches wide of the width of those things. They're okay. gonna easily spread out again, a, you know, six inch wide fixture, but you're gonna get like 24 inches of coverage. If you had a really big tank, if you had a tank that was like say 36, 40 or even 48 inches wide, then in that scenario, you would want to run, you know, multiple fixtures. You could run, you know, one in the front, one in the back of your tank, and obviously, you know, cover it that way as well. And a lot of people miss that fact that if my tank is 36 inches wide and the spread is 30, it's okay if that last six inches isn't covered because it's the top of the tank near the water line. You don't have anything up there anyway. Right. Absolutely. For sure. So it comes in a gray and a white. So absolutely, if we have yeah. a rimless tank, you get a good looking fixture that's not in your eye. What about lenses? You have certain angle lenses on these things? There's no lenses on these at all. They're actually reflectors. So no lenses. No lenses, Nothing right. Nothing to burn out, gray out, any of that. The differences between this fixture and a lot of the other fixtures on the market is that it's using a reflector okay. to put that light into the tank. And that's one of the reasons it performs a lot better than the other lights that are out there, because those reflectors do a much better job of actually taking the light produced 
by that LED diode and putting it on your tank where you want it. Okay. We regularly get people who come by and talk to us about their lights and say they're sitting in their living room watching TV at night. They've got their lights off to the left or the right hand side and they get that glare from the light. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get that with this light because that light's going down exactly where you want it on the tank. And you're it's not coming out into your living room. It's not coming out into your dining room. It's in your tank. So obviously it benefits you from just the perspective of not getting the glare out, but it also benefits your corals because the light's where you want it, on them. So we're getting a lot of light out of a longer fixture, but it's not a strip light, because right. this thing has got way more power coming out of it. Right, for sure, for sure. And, and from a power perspective, I mean, you're not using a ton of energy, actually. I mean, the smaller fixture is about 160 watts out of the wall. The bigger one is about 220. Okay. So from a, an efficiency standpoint, these are going to be hard to beat as well. You're not drawing a whole lot of energy out of the wall, but you're still getting a ton of light on the tank. The heat dissipation on these lights is another reason for the performance benefit they get out of the performance increase they get out of them. That heat sink or that aluminum frame just does a really good job at dissipating that heat, you know, transferring it out and around. The other way they've gotten that is obviously the LED configuration is much different than you see in a lot of other fixtures. Okay. The LEDs are spread out over the entire fixture, right? So you're obviously getting a little bit better spread of light that way, but you're also helping to keep the fixture cooler that way as well because the LEDs are not on top of each other. Okay. All right, thanks for setting me straight because yeah. I saw this and thought strip light. This is absolutely not a strip light. Right. It's going to be primary lighting on your tank, no absolutely. problem. Yep. If you do happen to use it as a strip light, turn the thing way down because <laughs> this sucker cranks out light and it looks good as well. No fans. Yep. I love it.